guys, as you can tell, I am not at my mom's place anymore. Mason and I actually have our own place. I am super excited. I am finally out on my own. I thank my mom and my uncle and my girlfriends for helping me move in. I really appreciate it. I didn't vlog the process just because I thought it would just be too much for everybody. So I'm just going to, you know, take you guys on a tour of Mason and I's apartment. And I'm super excited. And I am, like I said, very thankful that my mom, you know, let Mason and I live at her house for, I mean, I moved in when I was like, what? 11 weeks I moved in from college and then Mason had his first birthday there and then on January 17th he had his birthday and then February 7th is when I moved into this place and you guys are going to be seeing this video sometime in March just because I kind of wanted to get into my place and you know figure out everything and the first week was very stressful by myself because living with my mom I did have my mom my sister and I had all that extra help since day one and being on your own and being a single mom you know is definitely difficult and it definitely has its challenges but I will say my mom and sister and my grandma and my aunt like literally everyone has been you know a lifesaver and I'm just thankful for everybody and let's go ahead and get started and I will show you guys Mason and I's new apartment okay so when you walk in you will see my couch and this cute little picture of Mason and I and this little reef that my friend gave me and it's hanging up um uh, the vacuum has to go there because I don't really have that much storage space here at the new place because everything is kind of tiny, but it's okay. I have this little desk thing, not desk, it's like a seating area. It really does not hold anybody, so barely Mason can sit on it. I really wanna get a table here just so I can put like my keys and then maybe put my shoes under there. There was this basket that went under here, but it doesn't fit with the modem in there and the router or whatever that is, I don't really know. Um, so it doesn't fit in there. I mean, I just have like um, the baby carrier. Like when I have groceries, I will put that on and carry Mason up and down the stairs. I am on the second floor, so that does sort of suck. But you know, my first apartment ever got broken into. So second floor was better choice for me being a single mom. I did not want anybody to steal anything. And then I have this cute little carpet, and here is the TV, and here's the TV stand. Literally my favorite thing in the entire house. Um, I got it off the marketplace. This guy was selling it for, I don't really mom remember, but my mom got it for me, and it's super cute. It has some pictures of Mason and um, a little greenery and they open and slide but I haven't really found anything that I want to put in here yet probably like um, cable stuff but I honestly don't even want cable I just want to um, have Wi-Fi because I don't really need cable that much because cable is extra and I don't really watch the news so yep and I have my Roku and that's how I watch TV and there's my coffee table this couch I also got off the marketplace and I got it cleaned as you can tell there's a little stain there but anyways yep I got it cleaned and then I have my little Cincy some books some side table stuff and then I painted this table that my mom also got me off the Facebook marketplace and then I added a little table runner I got this from Target and I put it on here. I painted this like the chalk paint. Obviously, it got chipped on the um, right over here, but that's not too bad. And then I got this. I'm pretty sure someone gave this to me. These little flowers, not these little flowers. Someone gave this to me with flowers in it, and then I used it, and I stole some 
pompas or whatever they're called from outside at my boyfriend's apartment. So I took that. And then I have this little like come gather at our table sign and that's like super cute um, above in here. I'm still sort of looking for something to go right here. So if you guys have any ideas, go ahead and link that down below or um, go ahead and let me know. But this is also one of my favorite things. There's a little mirror here and then that kind of has um, like my keys and stuff. Like I said, I wanted to get a table here just to kind of um, help fix it. And then I have like the Wi-Fi hanging in there, not help fix it. I want to get a um, table there so then I can put my keys and shoes and stuff like that. Um, I also want to get some drapes here, like the little loopy ones, which the loops, I need to get my nails done. Well, actually I don't get my nails done anymore. I paint them because it's so much cheaper and with the baby, you cannot get your nails done. I like this carpet, it's one of my favorites too. And the carpets kind of match. And then we are gonna go into the kitchen. Like I said, you can kind of see through. Um, this is really cute. I'm debating if I want to get bar stools to sit right here. I think there will not be enough room, but we will try it out. We'll see. I'm not sure or not. And then um, here is like my kitchen and um, I have my drink right there. I need to drink it. I have some wine for some wine nights. And then I cannot put anything under here. So all of my like spices and medicines are next to my um, cleaning supplies because when you do have a baby, you cannot put anything under here because I cannot lock these and Mason likes to get into everything. So I have the dishwasher, I have the pots and pans in here, and then my lovely microwave. Do we want to look in here? Oh, I need to clean it. Um, Mason's milk, all of that stuff. And then that does not match the clock. And then I have the uh, food pantry. I have the toaster oven up to here just because I don't need it anymore. I got a microwave from my dad, so he was nice enough to buy one for Mason and I. And then this area is like where the jackets go. I put like the trash bags in there, our hats, paint, like light bulbs, stuff like that. Um, and then the trash can is in here and Mason's high chair, a broom, the um, what's it called? The vacuum just does not fit in here. There's just not enough room. And then the bathroom. So here's the bathroom. The lighting is like so white in here. It's not my favorite. I I just really don't like it. Um, but I have like my earrings in here, you know, the stuff that you need in a bathroom. One of my favorite parts about there in here is that there's like a little laundry hamper thing. So I'm thinking about putting my laundry in here because I have a hamper, but Mason really likes to climb in it. So I don't really think if I put anything in there, he would just rip it out. And there's my toilet and those cute little signs back there. And then here is the shower and my cute little um, shower curtain from college. I have my bathrobe up here and then this leads to my room, but I can also take that way too. Someday I'll have to go through my room to get to the bathroom. And then that whole wall over here is my closet. So that whole entire thing is full of clothes and my shoes and all sorts of things. I am thinking about getting a mirror, like a circular mirror that was in my old room. The one that's in the living room, I put in there, but for my old room, but I'm thinking of getting an actual one in here, maybe the size of that, like the rectangular or circular. I think rectangular would look really good, but um, I think that would look really cute. And then there's my laundry basket. So like I said, I might put it in, um, I might put it in the other, in the bathroom. So it'll go good in there. And then I have like a little lamp up there. Um, I'm gonna put some more pompas right here, whatever the heck they're called. Um, 
like some more whatever, I don't even know. And just like a little of my dresser, I'm gonna paint it this blue color, this um, chalkboard blue, because it matches, because it matches this side table right here. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. And then there is my medicine, there is, um, some books up there just for decoration. My cute little picture of Mason when he was a little baby. He was like three weeks old. And then I have my blue light glasses over here. And um, this cute little thing Mason made for me when he was, I don't really remember, it just says 2020. Um, I wish I would have actually put like the date of the year, not the year, but the, the date. So I would have known how old he was, but his feet are not that little anymore. They are huge. So I thought that was really cute. And I keep that one here. And then I have a ton of passies because my child uh, is living off of pacifiers right now. And I also need to get the actual curtains. These are the blackout curtains. I just need to get the curtain rods. I haven't gotten around to do that. I think I'm going to order them on Amazon. Um, so I will do that soon. But yeah, my one of my really good best friends um, gave me this Ralph Lauren um, bedspread. And I already had those pillows from the old house. Ooh, those are like flip-flopped. So that's better <laughs> now that they match. So my friend gave me the bedspread, like I said, and I already had this little white top one and she gave me the skirt. So, and then my sheets, they're in the washer actually, and they match it as well. And I already had that painting and that painting. So the theme worked out perfect, the blue theme worked out good and then i just have my computer here chilling and then mason's little blankie that his um grand great grandma made for him on um his dad's side so i'm i think it was his great grandma i'm not sure but i will show you my closet i have like some books in here some shoes it's like really dirty so i'm not gonna like pull everything out but i have like my books and like some of my purses and my bags in there here is Mason's room. When you walk in, he has his crib, and that blanket doesn't stay there all night. It's just kind of hanging out in here. And then I have his measuring tape that they first measured him with when he was a baby. So I have that, and then um, just miscellaneous ultrasound pictures standing here or sitting here. And then his little. Um, name board we have our little hatch baby sound machine i literally love this thing he uses it every night and it's my favorite and then i have some decorations up here those cute little shoes he got for his birthday from a friend and then a little truck and the guess how much i love you book was one of our favorites and then his little memory box of all his stuff it's my favorite i'm gonna cry no i'm not but seriously though all of it's so cute I haven't decided if I wanted to hang that up in his room yet. I don't think I am. That basket is extra. I need to actually put it in his closet. And then he has like his basket of toys. I have been looking for his toothbrush. And it was in his toys. And then he has his little pillow. Um, he actually does sleep with that because um, that was from my room in my old place. And he... I don't know he just really likes to sleep with it he puts his head on it and i really don't like that he hits the side of his head and then i need to clean that he <laughs> gets milk in it all the time and then here is his little basket with all of his little stuff in it his little um bears he has a basket of bears and then the window and then his closet i put a cyber bag on here but he has more bears up here and more bears up here and then those are kind of like blankets and rags, burp rags, and then some books, some books there, and then just kind of his wipes and diapers. Um, actually this book needs to go up here. Um, and then his shoes are in here. And I keep, like I said, I keep his artwork in here and his little baby book. Um, so, and then his clothes, but his closet is really big. like. It's literally a walk-in closet. I feel like his closet is huge. Um, clearly, his baby doesn't have that many clothes that I need to hang up. He has more clothes in here. 
Um, but yeah, this is Mason's room and he has this cute little poster up. I really do want to get his name right here, um, Mason Everett. I don't want to put his last name because I feel like that would just be too much, but either Mason or just Mason Everett, I will decide. I'm not sure. And then I have a rocking chair at my mom's and I'm either going to put it in that corner, but I just don't like how there's so much over there. I might um, put something right here. I don't know, but leave a comment below if you think I should add anything. I do want to put a bookshelf there. Um, so he can have his books kind of out in the open. And then I want to get kind of like a carpet on top of here that he can play with. But this room is the perfect size for him. I am just really proud of myself because, you know, I'm gonna brag on myself right now, but I'm just really proud because I got this place all for myself and um, nobody co-signed or anything. I am paying rent by myself. I am paying electricity by myself. Um, I am just super excited that Mason has his own room. Um, he doesn't have to sleep in my room anymore. He sleeps in his crib like a big boy. He has his own toys, his own space in there. Um, so I'm just really excited that, you know, I am blessed enough to be able to afford this place and be able to live on my own and support Mason. Um, thankfully, I am finishing my degree to be a teacher. And right now I got the teacher assistant position at my job. So, you know, that really does help with everything. And I am just super excited for this next journey in the house together. And I see myself living here for a little bit until I get my teacher certification. And then I can get us a house and I will definitely be updating you guys on that. Obviously it won't be happening anytime soon. Then a year, maybe a year and a half, I'll get my certification. So hopefully stay in here, um, maybe save up some money and then get my place with him. But you know, this place is nice. It's literally like five minutes from work. It's like 10 minutes from his daycare. Everything is like remotely really close. Um, there's literally like pizza place over here um, there's Mexican we're right off of the highway so we have everything there's a little gas station here um, so there's a lot of stuff near us and everything about this place has been amazing I am just over the moon excited about getting this place for Mason and I all by myself and I just still can't believe it. I'm literally like, I need to take a breath because I'm just so excited. I just like, I don't want to cry on this because you guys don't need to see this, but I'm, like I said, I'm very thankful and I'm blessed to be able to live here and I will be budgeting my money for sure. <laughs> I actually made a budget planner because, you know, paying bills is not fun, but like I said, I'm just super excited and I cannot wait for you guys to um, see us, you know, grow in this apartment and, you know, I'm excited to grow in this apartment with Mason. So that's why I really like doing these vlogs just so I can see, you know, what's changed and I'm just really excited and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, a little update and just um, a tour of the apartment and I cannot wait for you guys to see the next video. If you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.